Hi there, Dominic here with some words about uh, deformers in Modo 601. So I have a little animation here with a sphere that is going through a cylinder and while it's going through the cylinder deforms. So a lot of fun playing with deformers in Modo 601. Just like that. So I'm going to show you what I've done to actually get this result. So I'm going to stop the animation. And you see I have a cylinder item, a sphere item, and a curve item over here. So over this is a curve going through the cylinder. The curve has been parented to the cylinder. And there is a bent deformer on the cylinder. So when you select this, you see the bent effector. And I've set the angle to 90. That's because that results in the bent being 90 degrees like that. And so I have this curve. And I have a magnet <coughs> effector also on the cylinder. And it's being set to repulsive. If I un uncheck repulsive, you see it gets a difference. Uh, the cylinder kind of collapses. So back. So when you set it to repulsive, the cylinder bulges out, if you will, like that. So the bent, the sphere has been parented to that magnet effector. So when the magnet effector moves, the sphere will move along with it. And then that magnet effector is being path constrained to that curve. And that path constraint is being animated over time. So you see when I'm at frame 20, the path percentage is 0 0.2131 and so on. So that path percentage is being animated and that's all that actually is being animated. And this is the result that you get. So pretty cool, I think, playing around with the deformers in Modo 601. And pretty easy to create interesting results. So again, I will go over it. So I have a cylinder that is being deformed by a bent deformer and by a magnet deformer. That magnet deformer has a child atom, is sphere, and that magnet deformer is being path constrained to a curve, and that path constraint, the path percentage of it, is being animated over time, so that when over time the magnet moves along the curve, each child sphere moves along with it, and it appears as if it's deforming the cylinder just like that. So this was Dominic with the deformer fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.